In this section, what we're going to do is walk through a number of the command line commands that you'll be using throughout this series. This will give you a sense of how to get around on the command line and do a couple of important tasks. Now the number of command line commands that are out there are tremendous, so we're narrowing this down to just the few that you really need to get around. So let's go ahead and begin with PWD, which stands for Print Working Directory. This will, when I press enter, will show us where we're currently located on the command line. Just like when you have an Explorer window open in Windows or a Finder window open on the Mac, you are always somewhere inside of the file directory tree. So right now, we are at chris slash websites slash And we can find out more about what's inside this directory by typing the ls command. And this will list the files. You see here that we have all of the files that are inside of our Drupal site here. I'm going to go ahead and clear everything that's been printed to this screen by pressing Command K, which will clear the back scroll. And that shortcut might be different depending on what command line tool that you're using. If we want to change the directory that we're currently in, we can use CD, which is short for change directory. If we want to move up a directory, we can go dot dot and slash and hit enter. Now if we do PWD, we'll see that we are now in Chris slash websites. And if we wanted to go back into loc.getsite.com, we could go cd loc.getsite.com. And if we do PWD again, you'll see that now we're back in the directory. I went ahead and cleared the back scroll again with command K. So this combination of PWD, LS, and CD will help us get around to pretty much any place we need to go. Let me show you a couple more tricks with CD. If we wanted to navigate to a directory based on the absolute path, and that means from the base of our hard drive, then we would begin with CD and then a slash. And this slash indicates that we're starting at the very root of the hard drive. And so if I wanted to go into the Chris folder inside of the root, I could simply type Chris and hit enter. And now if I do PWD, you see that we're now in Chris and it shows here with a slash. On Mac, Windows, and Linux, there's a user directory for the current user, and you can get to that directory by going CD and then using the tilde. Now if we do PWD again, we see that we're at user slash Chris Shattuck, which is my current user's directory. When you're working inside of a Drupal file structure, you'll find that you wanna move up several folders at a time, and you can do so by using the command that we looked at before, cd dot dot slash, and then adding more of those dot dot slashes. So if we wanted to move up one, we could do this. If we wanted to move up two, we could do that. And since we were at slash users slash Chris Shattuck, when we move up one, we go to slash users. When we move up two, we go to just the slash. So if we did PWD again, you'd see that we're at the root of our hard drive. And if you find that just knowing the directory that you're in isn't enough to make you sure that you're in the correct directory, usually doing an ls command will give you a better sense of where you're at because you know what files and folders are in the directory. Now notice that when we look at this, we see both files and folders listed. So we have myports.txt, which is a text file, but we also have folders called home, etc, drush, and dev. And usually you can tell the difference between a folder and a file because there's an extension on the files. I'm going to hit command K in order to clear the back scroll again. Now when you're going deep into a directory tree using CD, sometimes it can take a long time and be error prone because you're typing everything by hand. But the command line comes with autocomplete tools that will automatically sense where you are in the directory and will autocomplete based on the text that you've typed already. So I'm at the root of my hard drive right now and I know there's a folder called Chris. I can do CD and then begin typing Chris. I'll just do CH and I'll hit tab and that will automatically complete the whole word and add a slash so we can continue diving deeper into the directory structure. Now from here, it also senses that we're within this directory, 
And so when I begin typing websites, I just do WE and hit tab again, it fills in the rest. Now from here, if I want to go into my website folder, which is called loc.getsite.com, I can begin typing an L, I'll hit tab, and you see that it pre-fills a certain portion of the folder name. This is because there are multiple folders that match this. If I hit tab again, a couple of times, you'll see the list of possible matches for this. You see we actually have four different matches. If I begin typing get site and do tab, then because there are no other matches, it fills in the rest, and I can press enter in order to navigate to that directory. Now if I do pwd again, you'll see we're on Chris websites loc.getsite.com. I'm going to go ahead and press command K to clear the back scroll again. Now, as you're learning the command line and starting to dive into the, some of the other tools that we don't necessarily cover thoroughly inside of this series, you're going to run into points where the command line bulks a bit, where you kind of get stuck in a long process because you didn't type in a command correctly or you did something that's going to be very intensive and so it's going to take a long time to run. To stop the process, you can do one of two things. The first is that you can actually exit the window, and by exiting the window, you stop any processes that are running within the command line. Or, you can use a shortcut key, Control c So for example, let's go ahead and type in grep test. Now this is using the grep command. The first part is the name of the command, which is actually a little program. And then we pass in any parameters afterwards that need to get passed to the program. Now you see that we jump to the next line and we're just sitting here, and we'd be sitting here for a really long time if we waited. So again, we can either exit this terminal window, or we can press Control c and that will exit us out of the current process. You see that the Control c is printed here, and we're moved to a blank command line. 